Hello and welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today we're putting a clamp repair kit into a 2009 GMC Acadia. Alright, this is the battery that's located in the floor of the Acadia. And this is the battery clamp, which is loose. And this is the part that breaks. And let's see if I can get that. A 10 millimeter. And take the nut completely off. Same thing with the positive. We're going to take that broken one out of there also. Be careful you don't hit anything because the battery is plugged in. Get that not all the way up. So both of these are broken. And they're both broken because they were both tightened down incorrectly, which we will cover. Two nuts out of the way. Screwdriver. Bend a little tab that's in there up just a little bit so you can get the new one in. Same thing on this side. Don't bend it too, too much because it will break off. And then we're going to remove this little broken piece. Bend that tab back a little bit more to get it off, but all right, we're gonna have to put you down, reposition you here. There we'll hang you right off the edge of the seat. Now we're gonna get down here and we're gonna use the pliers to bend this tab up some more because it's still not enough to let go. off. Do the same thing with the positive. All right, we got both of them off. Now we got the new kit. This is a Dorman part. There's your number 926-877. This is universal for all of the style clamps. And here's the little bag that comes in there with the two New pieces and two brand new nuts. So we'll get the old pieces and the old nuts out of the way. And we'll start putting these down in. Put the nuts right there. Grab the positive cable. Slide this little tab so that you have the chamfered end right here facing up onto that stud. And we'll probably have to bend this little tab right here more to get this to slide down on it. Yeah, I don't think I can brute that on. Well, maybe I can. Okay, so that's down and on. Now you gotta peen that little piece back over. I'll hold it. Grab a pair of heavier pliers for that. All right, got a pair of vice grips. Same thing with the negative side. There we go. Now we can go ahead and bend that over. All 
Brady. Now, if all is said and done correctly, this post will be very close to the end on both of these. We go ahead and push them back down on there really tight. This is the part that's important. They have to be pushed down really tight to take up this space because this is what the nut's going to push and it's going to pull that stud, tighten the clamp back up and lock it. But you're making the clamp tight on the battery first. Do not use a hammer. Now you'll get to the point where, as you can see here, the stud's right against it. Now we go ahead and put the nut back down on it. And do that on both of them. Bring the nut down to just to the point of snug. Don't make it tight. And then test your clamp, it's still loose. We're clamping it down to lock the clamp. And then this one here, same way. Nuts are bottomed out. We're all good. That one's still a little loose. And that's how you replace or repair your clamps on your uh, GM. So if you guys like that one, please feel free to like, comment, and share. Don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.